TJ's field hockey team has been bounded with a compressed schedule of nine games, with their first occurring on March 3rd against Justice High School with a 1-0 loss. Since then, the team has rebounded, winning against schools like Thomas Edison High School. Their success is a product of well-organized practice, maintaining health protocol while conditioning players' minds and bodies. I do feel safe because everybody has to wear a mask at all times, and um, there's a lot of pre-screening as well, and you have to have a physician's note if you're going to miss practice to come back. Beyond their two-hour practices, competitors abide by healthy habits in school and personal environments. I think I have a lot of trust for my teammates and the coaches um, being safe outside of practice and outside of games. The team's adherence to social distancing guidelines, despite less cheering in post-game dinners, has not inhibited their team bonding. So there's less cheering, but I think overall um, our sense of community has grown and our spirit has grown even more because together as a team we really want to hype each other up. Because of Virginia mitigation strategies in early March, where two parents per student athlete, both of Avery Park's parents attend every game. Their passion is vocalized in the crowd's cheers. It's a bummer because the crowds aren't as big as they could be, and um, there, but there still is a lot of energy. They're just so excited to be back there, and I, as a parent, I love watching my child play sports. I'm really excited to be back in the fields. The community has been fostered through big sister-little sister relationships, both off-screen and on-screen. We've been able to kind of host some virtual events like we kind of had a movie night last weekend where we all got together and watched like old TJ homecoming spirit videos um, and just kind of getting together doing things virtually uh, staying active in the group chat things like that. The culture described as welcoming and supportive by teammates is grounded on the appreciation for limited playing time and in your non-existent preseason. That enthusiasm is translated into a balance between learning plays, scrimmaging, gelling as a team, and promoting a great team atmosphere. I think the girls are really, really not taking for granted what they have now that they're back in season, really listening to the older players, listening to the administrators about what they need to be doing um, so it won't be taken away from them again. Whether it be hosting a talent show online, making videos together of stick tricks, or encouraging one another on the sidelines, this season's field hockey team has made the most of their time together in this COVID-era season.